Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a quick review of iOS 13.5 Public Beta 2. Yes, you heard me right. Apple has completely skipped all of 13.4.5 and jumped straight to iOS 13.5. And the reason for that is because they have included a new API for exposure notifications for COVID-19. And because of this, based on their own guidelines, they have to update it to a new point release. So that means 0.5 it is. So what's new in this? And honestly, there's only a few things that are new. The first thing, if you go into settings, scroll down to privacy, click on health, then you'll see a new toggle here for COVID-19 exposure notifications. It will be on by default. You guys can turn that off if you want. I highly recommend you do your own research on this. Uh, I'm not gonna speak too much on it, but as you can see, I do have mine turned off. Now the next new feature in this is actually really cool. If I cover my mouth here and try it, it goes straight to this passcode. Obviously I took my hand off my mouth there and it unlocked with my face, but you saw how quickly it went to that passcode screen. So that is gonna save people a lot of time. It's something small, but Apple thinks about it. All right, and the last new notable feature is actually in FaceTime. Apple has now added a toggle to disable the tile of the person speaking automatically becoming larger. So you can turn that off if you just want it to stay the same, I guess, and the person talking will not automatically become bigger on the screen. I don't know who would want to turn that off, because I like when the person that's talking, you know, becomes bigger so you can kind of focus on them more, but that is now a feature in FaceTime. As for battery and everything, it's way too early to tell. Any reviewer that tells you it's great or something is lying, but I've had it for a couple hours and so far it's been okay. Um, but I have not had it long enough to test for sure and tell you guys definitively. However, I have seen that performance is pretty much the same and on par with the last betas and even 13.4.1. So I think this is a safe update but again, when you get this, you have to know that that COVID exposure thing is automatically on. Now, apps will still have to request, you know, to be able to use it. But if you want to turn it off, I recommend doing that right away because it will be on by default. The only other thing, like I said, is that face mask tweak where if you're wearing a face mask, it will automatically prompt you for your code, which is great. And then lastly, that FaceTime thing. Other than that, this is pretty much the same, not much new. So that's all that's in 13.5 public beta 2. I recommend it. Absolutely. No issues yet. I do recommend you reboot your phone once it's all set in because I was having notification issues, but once I rebooted, everything was good to go. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.